So now we're going to tune the uh, I gain, and I personally feel there's not much interaction between between tuning the P and the D gain and the I gain. The P and the D gain interact very strongly. As you raise the P gain, the copter responds sharper and you get more oscillations. As you raise the D gain, it negates some of those negative effects, um, and you can raise the P gain and the D gain together to find the right balance of them for the type of handling that you want. But for any given P term, for any given P gain, there's going to be sort of an optimal D gain that it does the best job of negating the bad effects without any, introducing any negative effects of excess D gain. Whereas the I gain is, is almost completely independent, uh, there is some interaction between the P and the I gain. As, you, as the P gain gets to be very, very low, you need higher and higher I gains to counteract the effect of the sloppy P gain. And as the P gain gets higher and higher, you need less I gain. So if you have to have crazy high I gains to get your copter to fly right, you might need more P gain instead. Um, but let's show the effect of low I gain. And I'm going to lower the I gain down to like 10, which is a pretty ridiculously low level. And what we'll find is that the copter will not do a good job of holding its attitude. That's the I gain's job. Okay, and we've got everything else at Betaflight defaults. Now, it's doing an okay job. I'm not, if I just center the sticks, it's not really drifting. You can see it's drifting to the right, but it's holding its attitude just fine. Um, which is amazing that even at this low level, let's see if I can lower it a bit more. Let's keep lowering it. Now we'll set it to zero, why don't we? And I'm gonna have to, now you see it's, it's rolling to the right. If I center the sticks, it wants to, it's pitching forward. So it's not, this is no eye gain. Oof. It's rolling to the left. Oh, yeah, bad. Let's get some eye gain back in here. <laughs> so that's the effect of no eye term. That's what the would happen if you didn't have any eye gain at all. When you center the sticks, the copter would not hold its attitude. It would roll and yaw and pitch and so on. Even with just 10 eye gain, if we center the sticks, it does an okay job of holding its attitude. You can see a little bit of movement on pitch right now. There, nose went down. I'm not doing anything. That's, it's, so it's still not doing a perfect job. Okay, so the place where the eye term really comes out is when you change the throttle position. Let me demonstrate that for you. So if I punch the throttle aggressively, or chop, there you go. See the nose drop there? And then as I raised it, it came back up again. That's not enough eye gain. It's kind of hard to get the, uh, the copter to do that on roll, There you go. Got it to do it on roll. Roll to the side and, and punch the throttle. So let's raise, raise it. And we're gonna keep raising it. There's 20 and, ooh, wrong one. There we go. Now at 20, let's look at the difference. Still a pretty big bobble there. Keep raising it to 30. There you go. Let's try it now. Still a pretty big dip. Let's just work on pitch, I think. No, nope, that's not pitch. Take it to 40. I feel like it's getting better. There's 50.
Here's 60. I think maybe we should be doing roll after all. I'm seeing a little bit of roll there. Maybe even a little bit of yaw. Let's take roll up to... Yaw as well. Let's bring this back in and switch the battery too. Okay. So I'm looking at what axis is moving there and raising it. Raising the eye gain. As you raise the eye gain, if I had to describe the effect, I would say that the copter will feel like it is flying stiffer. It will not want to move as readily on the different axes. So I'm gonna keep raising the eye gain, but what we may find is that raising the eye gain alone doesn't fix this. The copter will feel stiffer and stiffer, and you may get to the point where you don't like how it's flying. You can see here, if I center the sticks, it's just rock solid. That's, we have enough eye gain there for sure. But if we're trying to solve the throttle punch problem, and I can already think it already feels pretty stiff, honestly. And it's better, but it's still not completely fixed. If I'm a little more gentle with the throttle, it seems fine. And if I You can see though, a lot of movement there. So, I can keep raising it, but the copter is gonna fly so stiff, I'm really not gonna like how it flies. So, let's take those back down again. Let's see. And Let's see, I think it was uh, roll at like 45. Yaw at like 45. I'm not 100% sure I remember. But what I want to do is, I think it was at 47. Let's say pitch it. I don't remember, 55, something like that. What I want to do then, let's try raising the P gains and see if that makes it any better. So I'm gonna just nudge the P gains up a little bit. And because I've done this before, I'm gonna take yaw gain up a fair whack. You can make pretty big moves on yaw. As we saw in our example, we put it like 130 and didn't find anything wrong. So now let's try flying like that and see if raising the, the P gains can offset the effect of the, the can, if raising the P gains can have the same effect as raising the I gains, solve the same problem, uh, but without some of the negative effects of excess I gain, the stiff feeling copter. Still some nose movement if I really go crazy. It's pretty good though, it's better. Let's try raising it a little more. Now we're starting to get into the realm of, of P gains where where I didn't like what I what what I had to do with D gain to get it to fly right. Let's try that. I'm raising the P gains to try and get it to hold attitude on throttle punches. Oh yeah, there we go. And we got an oscillation there, but watch as I It's getting much better, isn't it? getting much better. Now, what we should find is that with the P gains this high, we now have to add D gain to get rid of the oscillations. So let's take the D gain up now. And I'm gonna just, no, not on, yeah, there we go. And I feel like 35 is a safe value. Uh, for all the copters I've ever built, 
they're safe at 35. We know this copter went up to like 80 or 90 with the, with good clean props and didn't have a problem. So probably all right here to go to 35 without worrying that we're going to hurt something. Oscillations are under control. Like it. Still getting drift there. It looks like I'm yawing to the... Looks like I am yawing to the right. Ah, phooey. Looks like I'm yawing to the right, uh, to the left, and dipping the nose a little bit. So maybe raise the yaw. I, I get something else I'm going to try, though.